Yo, what's going on guys? Sam here. Out of the blue today, Apple pushed out a new update and uh, it's not exactly the iOS 13 beta we were expecting it to see. It is iOS 13.1 developer beta one and generally we don't see this for at least a couple of weeks, sometimes a couple of months until the standard iOS 13 update 13.0 is released for everybody. Apple's switching it up a bit this year, getting a head start on the update. So I wanna show you guys the biggest new changes and features that make iOS 13.1 pretty interesting. If you're looking forward to this update in iOS 13, drop a like down below. It does seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you don't miss a beat on Apple news. So I can confirm now that this was intentional. Apple definitely meant to release this update. There was some speculation that it was, you know, a leak or not meant to be pushed out, but it seems like Apple did a pretty good job covering their tracks of what's new on the new iPads and iPhones coming later this year because nothing major has leaked out just yet. But I mean, we know how that goes. In an hour, we could see a picture of the new iPhone or something. There are a couple of changes in here one of which has now been pushed back from iOS 13 to the iOS 13.1 release, and that is the automations feature inside of the Shortcuts app. Now, Apple added this at iOS 13.0. It was in there for a while, and then in like the fifth or sixth beta, they decided to cut the feature. Automation allows you to basically run little tasks, you know, automatically on your iPhone or your iPad or create HomeKit automations so that let's say when you walk into your house, your lights turn on, the TV turns on, uh, and you can start playing music or something like that. That feature is back in iOS 13.1, but it appears that Apple is not going to include it in the initial iOS 13 release that happens in just a couple of weeks. Next up in iOS 13.1, do you guys like bubbles? Because I really, really hope you do. Otherwise, you're gonna hate all the new dynamic wallpapers. So Apple has tweaked this just a little bit. In addition to tweaking the like multicolored bubble one, which low key, Looks kind of fresh. Uh, I don't know, I mean, the color coordination here just looks kind of nice, even though I think these wallpapers in general are kind of gimmicky. Apple also reintroduced the traditional dynamic wallpapers that we had before any iPhone had an OLED display and Apple opted for that nice looking true black background. Now, I don't know if this means more dynamic wallpapers with bubbles are coming on the way. I don't know if this means Apple is just playing with us because we've had dynamic wallpapers as a feature since 2013 and we've literally only had bubbles. At this point, I feel like Apple's just messing around with these because I've also never really seen a person in the wild, and by the wild I mean the world, use these wallpapers because they're so simple and, and the premise has not changed for the better part of a decade practically. So I just want to show you guys these. They're pretty cool. I'm glad we have more options, but please Apple give us something other than bubbles. On the home screen, any apps that you've downloaded through test flight that are in beta now have a yellow dot to them versus previously, I think in iOS 12 it was orange and then earlier in iOS 13 I believe it was green. That is now yellow across the boards. You can see right here I'm beta testing one password and it's a little yellow dot next to it to indicate that this is not the standard, you know, run of the mill normal iOS app. This is a special beta version. Moving over to the Maps app, Share ETA is back in iOS 13.1. This allows you to notify friends, family, or anybody in between how far away you are from them, sharing your location, route, and destination info until you arrive to them. This is handy if you're running late or if you just want somebody to know that you got to your destination safely and as expected. This next one's actually really cool. It's a nice little detail that Apple threw in here. If you have AirPods connected to your iPhone or iPad and you go to change the volume, the new volume heads up display now reflects flex that you are adjusting the headphone volume for your AirPods. And there's a nice little icon to denote that. It shows two little AirPods right here. Now I'm curious that if you have like Beats X or another Beats product with like, I think the H1 audio chip in it, if it would reflect, you know, an image of that device, but I only have AirPods. So I tried those and they worked and it's pretty cool looking. iOS 13.1 beta one also includes support for HVC video encoding with alpha channels. Um, so this is gonna help you if you're recording like green screen footage, it's gonna use the dual cameras on the back of your iPhone or hint, hint, when there's three cameras on the back of the iPhone 11 or iPhone Pro that comes out in a couple of weeks, Apple's probably included some background frameworks in iOS 13.1 so that you can do some cool stuff like record something with one camera and then overlay the footage that like that captured depth wise on top of another like green screen style background. So we can't confirm any of this yet, but this is likely what it is for. So those are all the changes that we found inside of iOS 13.1 at beta one so far. But if you guys find anything else interesting, let me know about it down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, drop a like, it would seriously help me out and hit subscribe so you guys stay up to date on all the latest Apple news. I've been Sam, I'll catch up with you all in my next video. Yeah.